to finish solving this system of equation with three variables, we've done a lot of work just to find out that x equaled negative 2. All right. These two highlights, you got to take this negative 2 down here and you got to plug it into one of the highlights. It doesn't matter which one. Um, let's just use this one because it's in a convenient location. 5x plus 6y equals 26. Well, I know for a fact x is now negative 2, so I can say 5 times negative 2 plus 6y equals 26. So that's negative 10. I just get to solve the equation, so nothing too difficult about this. Inverse operation to both sides, so I'm going to add 10. So I got 6y equals 36, and therefore y equals 6. All right. Now we have two out of the three letters. We've got x, we've got y, now we need z. To get z, we have to now go back to the very original three functions. The black function, the green function, or the red function. And you pick one of these three. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, let's just pick the black function. Or, you know what? Let's pick the green function. It says x plus 4y plus 2z equals 16. Okay. You can find z because what you'll be able to do is say, I know what x is. x is negative 2. I know what y is. y is 6. And from there, what you can do is say, all right, I've got a negative 2. I've got a positive 24. I've got a 2z equals 16. I'm, z is the only variable in that equation, so I can solve for z. So let's combine these. That makes a positive 22. Okay. We're going to use the math we always have. Subtract 22 to both sides. That's the inverse. So 2z is going to equal negative 6. Therefore, z equals negative 3. We have x, we have y, we have z. Our final answer is going to look like this. Negative 2, 6, and negative 3 x, y, z. This says the three functions that we originally started with, they intersect at a coordinate point of negative 2, 6, negative 3 in three-dimensional space. If you have any trouble with any of these steps, I recommend you watch one step at a time and get very good at each step independently. Then you'll be able to combine all the steps together.